he's sitting in a French cafe, eating a German bratwurst, sipping a Belgian beer, Cuban cigar in the pocket of his fine Italian suit. He opens the newspaper, glances at the headline, and whispers, God damn immigrants. I smile and say, I am an immigrant. You are an immigrant. We are all immigrants. It doesn't matter if your name is Ali Hussein, Amani Gandu, Young Sung Lusu, Sam Ron Rob, or Billy Yeehaw Bob. You dumbass are an immigrant. Let me explain. I was born in Canada, my grandfather in Scotland, her grandmother in England. Her great-grandparents were Gauls, descendants of the Druids, who arrived in Normandy after a 10,000-year trek across the Arabian Ocean, the Middle East, and Asia from a land we now call Africa. <laughs> According to the UN Department of Social Affairs, Africa accounts for 15% of the world's population. But I'm confused. I mean, I refuse to be con. I mean, come on. Doesn't Africa account for all of the world's population? Woo! Wasn't the first European African, yep. the first Asian African, the first everything African? <laughs> Fucking A. The first African president of the United States was not Barack Obama. It was George Washington. Woo! The first African to walk on the moon, Neil Armstrong. The first African to moonwalk, Michael Jackson, <laughs> which means, and I apologize to anyone who may find this offensive, but Iggy Azalea and Marine Le Pen are African. <laughs> but some of us, we have been gone so long, our lips have thinned, our skin turned the color of privilege, and we have forgotten that the chain whipped and dog bit bodies that greased our cotton field economies, they were our mothers and fathers, forgotten the drug war atrocities lining our maximum security monstrosities. They are our sisters and brothers. Forgotten that pale skin is a genetic mutation activated 7,000 years ago to help Africa's sons no longer living under Africa's sun to absorb vitamin D. We are waves in the same sea, notes in the same symphony. Your blood is a sacred hymn singing beneath my skin of what once was and could be again. I don't know what it is like to be you. I don't know the secret wars you wear or if you carry your history like an honor or the apocalypse. And I don't know if the present will ever make peace with the past. But I know this. Long ago, before black meant dangerous, brown meant mm, suspicious, and white meant not guilty, in a land our ancestors called home, we were family. And it's so good to see you again. Oh.